DM073 Gaming is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory. If you're looking for pre-orders of the upcoming sets, including singles or booster boxes of previous sets that have come out, you can check the link down below. Happy Little Hug Factory also has a buy list for Force of Will, so you can get rid of those extra cards you have laying around and turn it into new upcoming product. Thanks so much, guys. Check them out and enjoy the video. Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the deck list for the green, black, white Team Memoria Fox list you saw me play earlier this week. This list was kind of the brainchild of Josh Borsma and Jason Lindsay. Very, very good list. I think it has a lot of potential, especially in this meta, especially with Sherry all over the place. Uh, I think that this is kind of a high risk, high reward style deck. Um, but hey, if you're a Fox player like me, um, I think that you'll have a lot of fun with this list. So obviously we have Lilius Petal, turns into Nine-Tailed Fox. We don't really have to talk about that very much. Stone base, we play four Killing Stone, uh, four Gusting Skies, and then two Heaven's Rift, because it actually does need a lot of white in this list. Not so much with the green, but we have lots of green too with Killing Stone and Gusting Skies. And then going into the deck, we play three Lilius Petals Assistant, because it is essentially a one-card Chimera, right, for when we need it, to be able to recycle things like Monkey or Tama. Um, very, very important. Um, monkey Trapped in Life, super great, especially when you combine it with things like Soul Stealing Altar or Soul Returning Altar. We'll kind of talk about some of the things you can do with that too. Um, Red Riding Hood, because it helps mitigate some of the loss of Griffin. Um, by sacrificing her, you get a stone as well. Um, and then she gets bigger the more stones you have. And with this list, you're going to actually see yourself getting to seven stones pretty consistently. Um, a Frig for some recycle effect to be able to um, recur creatures that maybe you really need or like bring back an altar or bring back a Kakia's Moonbeam or whatever as the game goes on. A Demonic Dead because I think it's very, very good in this list, especially when you combine it with Soul Returning and Life Stealing Altar. We'll get touch base with that. Lorite because Lorite is just really, really good, and this list doesn't mind playing four of because it then becomes a green resonator for Lilius Petal to sacrifice. Tama for some draw power, as well as having those early game uh, wind resonators. Three Messenger of Lilius Petal to make sure you get the stones you need, whether it be Killing Stones or the Gusting Skies. Uh, four Life Stealing, Soul Returning Altar, and we'll kind of get to those here in just a little bit. Two Separation of Fates because being able to remove all res abilities from a J slash res is pretty good, uh, and it also draws you a card. Three Severing Vents for Cancel, three Kaki's Moonbeam Butterfly to primarily help you get those life-stealing altars, uh, three Ferris Spell to cancel because Ferris Spell is just very good right now, two Flourishing Hope to be able to protect your uh, Amits or Manticores as well as being able to turn it into removal. And then a one of Null Page, it's just kind of the cute little addition. Sometimes if you're playing against a control deck, you hit them with a Null Page, it can kind of remove their win con from the game, and you can just kind of blow them out after that. And then we do play four Amit and four um, Manticore in the sideboard. But let's talk about Life Stealing Altar. So the reason why this card is so good, it has a couple of reasons. One, um, it's super low costed, which is great. Uh, and if you have several of them on the board when you flip over Fox, it's like kind of getting a free Griffin. Um, you can play this turn one and turn two and then flip uh, and then be at three stones going into your turn three, tap for your fourth stone. Um, that's really, really good. Being at four stones on turn three is kind of like what we had back when we had Griffin. Um, so life stealing is a really good way because of the invert with soul returning to be able to um, kind of make up for the fact that Griffin is gone. The other thing is Life Stealing Long Altar is great for the early game too because um, you're playing a lot of low costed creatures uh, so you can draw cards a lot off of it um, with things like Monkey Trapped in Life or Tama. And then Soul Returning Altar just turns those little tiny creatures later on into spot removal cards um, that then get to get recurred a lot or uh, help you draw cards or whatever to help your Amits get in for damage. Um, because they're not spells, they can't be canceled, right? So you have all these kind of tiny dudes or things like Demonic Dead where you kind of have, almost have like, with Demonic Dead and Grave and Soul Returning Altar, you almost kind of have this spot removal style um, mini final battle, like targeted final battle, where you can pay five life, bring it back, sack it immediately to give something minus four, minus four, pay five life, bring it back. So like that kind of thing with one soul returning altar and then if you imagine that you have a life stealing and a soul returning altar um for 500 life and one will 
Um, you've essentially, by sacrificing Demonic Dead, given something minus four, minus four, and drawn a card. This is pretty much like having um, Space Time Anomaly back, which was a very, very powerful control card. Um, you're still having to pay life as opposed to will, so you don't want to like abuse it too much, but still, if you're imagining that you're doing that to help get through 15 damage to your opponent with an Amit, it can pretty much be usually a trade that you need to have happen, um, especially since Amit is so great in being able to help you regain life. So all in all, I think Life Stealing Soul Returning Altar is a card that um, Fox just needs to play to even remotely stay relevant, um, but I think with that and the utility and the cards that kind of play into what Fox is trying to do, it is a very, very powerful card. Um, this being said, this deck is very, very complicated to pilot. Um, I definitely think that I could have piloted it better in the feature match, um, but I definitely recommend you give it a try. Practice, 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 and see if you can make some tweaks to it or really figure it out. It's very different than your traditional like startup for what you would go to with old fox like you're trying to get these altars out before you flip and then once you have flipped fox you're not being super aggressive with the flips or with the chimeras you're being very utilitarian very specific very exactly when you need it not just trying to flood the field with chimeras so it's definitely more of a mid-range style than fox kind of used to be but anyway that's it for the deck uh huge thanks to josh and jason for it uh, definitely love playing this list, and I hope you guys do too. If you have any questions or comments about the deck, go ahead and put them in the comment sections down below. And until next time, this is DMO73, signing off. Huge thanks to the patrons of the channel. You see their names here on the screen as well as down below in the description. They are what help make this channel run and help me do these awesome projects for you guys. If you feel like joining the channel and get access to all the cool perks that come with being a patron, click on the P on the screen or the link down below. Thanks so much. See you next time.